Hey guys, welcome to YSCOM Driving. Beautiful morning to you. It's really nice out here in Sermony and we're at an off-road track. And today, we're going to take this JQ7 and put it through its paces in an off-road environment. So stay with us, guys. Hey guys, welcome to Wineskong Driving. We are at a site in Sermony and we are with the car that I was so excited about before. It's the JQ7. And just to recap, this is a vehicle that looks very much like the Range Rover. And of course, it's at a more affordable price and it really looks good. So everybody has been very excited for the car. We don't know the price yet because it's not officially launched. Uh, but it looks good 194 PS 290 Newton meters of torque all wheel drive with terrain control and wading depth of uh, 600 mm so what we're going to do is we're going to do a 45 minute course and we're going to run through this obstacle course with our instructor Derek here Hi. and uh, Straight on, right? Yeah, straight up. And uh, we're going to give this vehicle a bit of a proof of the pudding. Yeah, proof of concept. Yes. So this is fully capable of off-road. Of course, uh, not really hardcore, but you can if you want. Uh, this is, uh, it has a 7-speed DCT. And so it is not really a manual kind of thingy that you can push. But... Uh, it's good and uh, we're going to just see what this vehicle can do we're going to have Hans at the back and he's going to show us a little bit about how uh, this thing looks like from the outside when we get through the obstacles so Hans will be jumping in and out to take the thing as we go so the first part is of course driving on off-road like this is not a problem we have 210 mm of ground clearance which is better than a lot of SUVs yeah so this is basically a SUV. It is not what you call a serious off-roader, but of course, if you want to go to your durian farm and your mangosteen tree, you can go, yeah. Or you can go to your oil palm estate and look at the condition of the road. It's not the best, uh, so you're okay that way, yeah. Right? Just go straight. Okay, so go that way, okay. So there's another vehicle in front of us, so that's good. And... Uh, Okay, so the rule for off-road, let the car in front clear before you go, you don't want him to reverse into you. Yeah, so, but it's good, we have a camera trained on him to see him go. And so you have power steering, so it's not heavy compared to a, what you call a serious 4x4. Uh, this steering is very light and of course they have already gone through this course a lot of times and they know where we of course we will take a path where we will allow it will allow us to clear 210 mm <laughs> right. yeah so but as it is uh, there's no four-wheel drive vehicle that can clear all obstacles there will always be an obstacle you can't clear so this is just a demonstration of what the vehicle can do and not a demonstration of what the vehicle cannot do Okay, so guys up there, there's a slip roller and this one actually shows how the traction control can work and we have one vehicle in front of us. I don't know who's inside but I'm sure it's one of the media. We'll wait for him to go and I'm going to try to put my car straight so you can see in front. Okay, we reverse a bit. Yeah, let's reverse a bit. Then you can see I have a camera on the roof. So guys, you look at it. Now, Derek, can you it, ask the uh, autobus photographer to come up and start shooting from here? Are you the autobus photographer? Yeah, go. <laughs> Hans, you might want to go outside there also. Okay, so he's going to shoot some video. And 
you can see the slip uh, there's two sets of rollers i hope they are the they cover both <laughs> the axles properly <laughs> uh we are going to be covering three wheels actually three wheels, uh, uh, the entire rear axle and one in the front one wheel in the front okay so is the wheelbase okay the wheelbase okay yep we can configure the slip rollers um, according to the wheel bases. Okay. So uh, at this moment, we've been uh, driving off-road um, from the center all the way up here in eco mode. We have not even gone into any of the uh, yeah, uh, off-road programs or settings. Yeah, just to show you how capable this vehicle is. Okay, where's the mode? Switch? Right. So this is the dial. Um, you can play. A, you can Normal dial mode, into yeah the specific snow. modes. Oh, so, out of seven modes, four of which are meant for off-roading. Mm, uh, those are mud, snow, um, and off-road mode, and sand mode. Okay, let's put it on off-road. So, off-road mode would be uh, suitable if you don't want to be figuring out too much about which mode to be in and stuff. Stick in off-road mode. It's sort of like an auto mode. Okay, guys. So, uh, I should have the camera on the roof. Hopefully, it's working. And the camera on the roof will be shooting at that car. So we can't see the wheel spinning, so it must be the front wheel that's spinning. Then the drive will transfer to the back. And both the back wheels are spinning, so only one, one wheel has got traction. And that moves on. Okay, we are, let's line up. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you the front wheel sleeping. And now all three wheels a little bit more. So all three wheels are now on the okay, seat roller. Yes, yes. So okay. maintain throttle and let traction control kick in. Yep, it has gone through no problem. Okay, we're going to make a U turn. The three point turn. Okay, so slip roller test, pass. <laughs> can, can. <laughs> All right, so now we go through the axle twist. And so this is done by putting four lumps in the road, diagonally opposed to each other. The whole idea is to lift up two wheels to show off the car is good. <laughs> yeah. Get it in a cross axle situation. Yep, okay, I'm gonna put it into neutral. Why is it taking so long? Hmm. Okay, cameraman must get in good place. So this is pretty cool, 3D translucent. Okay view. guys, look at this. There's a 3D, uh, it shows the invisible view of the, makes the car invisible. And it shows you where your wheel is. Okay, so we'll line up straight. Okay, so let's go. There's no low gear, right? There's no low gear, but we'll uh, actually prefer to use manual one to keep it in uh, first gear all the way. Mm. Manual is right here. You have to hold on to that button, press it a little longer, and then switch to M1. Okay, yep. so we are manual gear. Okay, so guys, so this manual gear helps you in an off road situation, so you don't have to worry about the thing shifting up into the next gear. Okay, so don't worry about all that sound. It's the vehicle fighting for traction, deciding which wheel to get the grip, yeah? So we just go through and it's pretty mild. You don't feel it, but actually one wheel or two wheels off the ground. Okay, and of course these are road tires, so they, they don't <laughs> have a lot of grip. Yes. Yeah, so if you really want to go off-road, you might want to put in what you call all-terrain tires, yeah. But no problem, this shows that the vehicle can still get by uh, under normal conditions. Lah. But usually in off-road conditions, 99% of the time you can get through. It's the 1% of the time that you really need the four-wheel drive. The rest of the time, you don't really need four-wheel drive. 
Okay, okay, so guys, see in front there that black Jeku, and he's going to go up, and this is the side slope. It doesn't look that bad from here, but when you're inside the car, it feels really great <laughs> or scary for those who are in it for the first time. So, I used to do this, and I always tell the guy at the top there, don't fart because if you fart, you'll just flip over. <laughs> So this is just a side slope driver, right? Yeah, just side slope. Okay, guys, we are going to go a side slope. This is about 25 degrees now. Uh, but for people who are not used to it, it will be very, very scary. And this is just a demonstration of the side slope capability of the vehicle. And anyway, uh, you have to try to avoid going sideways on the slope especially if it's wet because it is dangerous but for the demonstration it is good because it shows that the vehicle does have some side slope capabilities all right so we will follow the guy up there uh, actually you can go down there but you might hit the suspension about 210 mm of ground clearance looks good so far no problem and this is um, basically coming down that slope um, at the uh, angle, at the steep angle. Mm. So it's going to um, cause your rear wheel to lift up I slightly. See. Okay. A bit of momentum helps. <laughs> yep. There you go. Okay guys, it's our turn to go sideways down the slope. Okay, good. Keep this angle. Oh, he wants me to go in this angle so I get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay, let's go. <laughs> okay, that's for the photograph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that should be enough departure angle so the rear doesn't go okay guys here's the wet test we're gonna go through the water all right water wading okay so for your information the wading depth is 600 mm for a Toyota Hilux is 500 mm for a Ford Ranger is 900 mm so take your pick but 500 mm is enough so 600 mm is more than enough so uh, they told us they're going to have 500 mm of water here, right? This would be the light weighting, which light is a um, little shy of 300. The 550 is um, oh, 550. right here on the left, Okay. which we'll do uh, shortly. Okay. Alright, we'll let that car get through because I don't want to be stuck behind him. Let's try mud mode. Mud mode, okay. Uh, all this while we are in off-road mode. Yeah. Still a very uh, good mode okay, to be in. Okay, we're in mud. Okay. Mud mode is higher gear ratio. Mm. Oh. That was just a suspension settling down. Okay, so guys, when you go in the water, the idea is not to rush in and push all the water into your engine compartment and also you're supposed to walk through make sure there are no obstacles but of course this one they have already cleared it lah. and so you just have to drive through don't spin your wheels as Derek said as slow as possible as fast as necessary all right this one came from Paul C <laughs> <laughs> hey Paul if you're watching this video we are quoting you okay <laughs> Paul C is my off-road Sifu. He taught me this many years ago. You know him or not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are all old friends. Alright, so where do we go? Up there. Yeah. Okay, so that was a very uneventful water crossing. Uh, of course, this vehicle is capable, so no worries. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have Derek show us how to drive. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Okay guys, so you can look here, uh, Derek has put the screen on, you can see 3D, so that makes the car 
invisible and actually there are cameras all over the car and it shows you uh, where your wheels are in relation to the terrain okay what are we going, what are we going to do okay. now we're going to be doing two sets of obstacles uh, mm. one of which is the uh, ridge crossing so earlier you took um, the, the obstacle slope. on the side yeah. uh, doing a side slope uh, now we're going to be doing a crossing okay so the crossing is going to involve uh, us tackling the obstacle from an angle making yeah. sure the approach and departure angles all clears uh, but more importantly is that when we get that wheel lift mm. um, traction control is going to help us get through it okay so without right, guys we're going to go through the same side slope but we're going to cross over it yeah okay so, so where's my cameraman okay Hans ready so I'm currently in mud mode normal mode mm. so you're going to put on what ECL mode so every mud time mode. you um start the car back up again it goes back into eco mode so mm. just make sure you're in the right Sand mode, mode. Mm. Mud mode there you go mm. so i'm in mud mode. mode okay why do you use mud mode here any reason and not mud all wheel mode. drive all right so all wheel drive so mud mode in slippery conditions is going to allow a little bit more wheel spin mm. um traction control is going to require that it's going to need that to sense that it's losing traction and then uh, uh kicks in mm. So, which is exactly what's going to happen uh, when we get a wheel lift. Mm. Uh, so, we're going to be losing traction on not just one wheel, but also um, mm. the diagonal wheel at mm. the same time. So, I'm in uh, mud mode now. Mm. In gear one, I want to keep to the lowest possible gear as possible. So, I'm basically just very light uh, on the throttle. Uh, at the moment, I'm not even really doing much. Now, I'm leaving it a little bit more to keep traction control to keep it. So, let this do its work. And hey, the moment I get across, <laughs> I'm actually on the brakes to slow it down a little. Yep. Uh, with the lack of low range, uh, we have to use our brakes, but be very mindful. Mm. We don't want to be uh, um, rocking the car too much um, yeah. by braking too hard. Understood. So right here is 28 degrees. Mm. Um, it's still way below the safe parameters. What's the safe go. parameter for this? Uh, on the side slope, they don't publish it. Um, but on an SUV like this, we will be properly looking in the region of 30. Yeah. Right? But depends on the terrain also. Exactly. If it's slippery, then that's another risk factor. Yep. So we are going to make it across same thing. Mm. Auto control, just get it nice and easy back there. So despite that drop, mm. um, our body has not come into contact. Yeah, uh, if you panic, okay. then you can exactly. roll it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, doesn't scare me though. <laughs> no, Alright, so that was the side slope are we going to cross this ditch no we're going to do this uh <laughs> deep water waving now oh we're the first car Ooh. <laughs> yeah so water level has been uh, adjusted to 550 at the moment okay so as uh why i said mm -hmm. before any water waiting a lot of preparations a lot of things we need to check the depth um what's in the surface especially murky water like this where you can't see what's uh, underneath we need to find out but of course okay. this, you already done this of right? course, of course. <laughs> we're not going to do it today all <laughs> right it's going to stay dry today i want to keep my shoes clean <laughs> all right guys so this is the 550 mm water wading and we have another 50 mm safety that's so much so we got to go in slow make sure you don't have a great a bow wave or things like that right and then we are on mud mode so it will go through properly Right. all right let's go okay just before i do that uh one thing i like to do it's um i always like to switch my ac off that's just to uh reduce one additional component within the engine compartment that is uh moving mm. uh, so prevent it from kicking water around okay then so I will the, wind down my glass. Yeah, so <laughs> ventilation so the entrance we're going to take it nice and easy I'm yeah. using my brakes to ease the vehicle in waiting for the rear to level okay and guys it, it's bath time <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I knew that <laughs> I saw that I expect they'll be uh, <laughs> expecting that <laughs> oh that was fun so that was 150 yeah. um, 
no problems at all. I'm yep. just going to stop the vehicle for a few seconds, let water flow out from wherever it's hiding behind the bumper, chassis, whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's progress on. Okay, you can turn the AC back on.